Sue. Hi, Sue. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me on. Oh, oh it's a pleasure. Gosh, Happy New Year, Sue. Thank you, Phil. Thank you very much. I'm really excited. Good. Good. I well, now's, now's your chance. What would you like to say? Well, I'm now at 70. Right. For the last 10 years, I've been trying and trying and trying. Now, I'm fine for about, at the most, three weeks. Then I think, oh, no, oh, no, oh, I'm fed up. How do I keep that? You know, how Interest, do I keep that yeah. excitement? How do I keep it going? Um, <clears throat> I'm too stone overweight. Okay. Now, I know that's not a lot, but for me, I've got it's a, a condition called yeah. spinal stenosis. And, and the older we get, it's harder me. to shift. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I mean, my joints and muscles uh, are not what they were. Mm. You know, so, Faisal, I can't be doing those, <laughs> you know, those sort of... The lunges. lunges. The lunges, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you are if you are a little more mature, yes. then uh, then what would you suggest? And it does sound like Sue gets bored. Of course, yeah. Hi, Sue. Um, I would definitely suggest kind of low-impact training, i.e. cycling. If you can get to your local swimming pool, that would be fantastic so um, because yeah. that kind of works all your body. Um, but definitely, if you, like you said, Phil, are slightly more mature, low-impact, um, but you sound like you've got loads of energy, Sue. Yeah, she um, does, so, which is fantastic. Kind of keep that energy. It's really hard to motivate yourself sometimes. You're saying that you can't really see the progression. But if you just give yourselves, give yourself, sorry, uh, little small bite sized goals and you can see the progression of your own journey that way. So, so if, yeah. if you were going to do a week, yeah. mm. well, then what would that week be? A week of training. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so what, would you, what would you if you were if you were Sue's personal trainer, yes. what would you be doing? Okay, cool. So we would definitely start slow. I would definitely advise we'd probably take a on that low impact training uh, on a what bike or cycling. Um, see where her on a, on a what bike? On a what bike? Yeah, it's a horrible your, thing. Yeah, yeah. it's amazing. <laughs> in, a, in a great way. Go, it's like resistance cycling, so you can push the resistance. So oh, okay. and your yeah. pull and push yeah. on the pedals. It's, it's quite hard. Yeah. Mm. Um, and then again, we would kind of increase the intensity throughout the week, um, and we would probably. What do you think about classes? Yeah. For someone like Sue, because she sounds good fun. She sounds great. Um, she should definitely come to one of my classes. Sue, you're allowed to come to one of my classes. Uh, you'll be my VIP guest. Uh, but yeah, classes are great because everyone's there for the same reason. Mm. Um, so you are in an environment where it's really strange. You're in an environment where it's, you may think it's intimidating to people looking at you, but you're not. Everyone's there Everyone's for yourself. Yeah, yeah. It's well, you do you like dancing? You. Uh, yeah, Zumba. yeah, yeah well, that's exactly what I was going to say. What about if you if you got a, a class of uh, you know sort of like aged people um, yeah. and There's like minded around. people and yeah. and you started uh, Zumba because yeah. something like that would be not only great fitness but it's great for meeting people as well. Exactly, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, working out with friends as well is also another great way to motivate yourself. Um, yeah. And, and also, if, if Sue did admit that she was, she felt that she was too stone overweight, so a, a place to start also is sort of portion Food. size and making exactly. sure. And you're going to do a little bit of that mm, in the kitchen yeah. in a minute. Got a really you? nice healthy recipe for you a little bit later on. All right, very good. Thank you. Thank you.